welcome back once again to the channel now in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to draw this 2d drawing in autocad it's a little bit tricky so let's pay attention to see how best we can draw now let's see our dimensions after that then we start the drawing okay so if you look at this thing this it's one thing okay this side is the same as this side as the same as this so what you are going to do is you are going to draw one side and then you use the polar array command to rotate to get a three all right so if you start from here you can see we have an inner circle here with radius of three millimeters and then this outer one with radius six all right so if you check the distance that's the center to center distance of this one we have a radius showing up here 48 okay and the angle between these two as shown here is 120 degrees now if you look at this line this line and this line is at an angle of 20 so we will see how we are going to do that and then we have internal circle here radius of a sorry diameter of 18 and this one too having a radius of 12 and if you look at this side there's a fillet here with radius 18 and this edge is also having a radius of 2.4 Alright, so we will open up the card and then see how we will start to draw this thing. We will actually start drawing one side. So let's open our auto card and pick a circle command. So center radius, enter radius of 3. It's very small, so you zoom out. And then you pick the command again, you enter radius of 6. Okay, so we have this side down now for the work to be easy I'll draw the line I'll draw a line that is a length of 48 representing the radius so I'll just pick the line command start from the center go a distance of 48 all right so we have this line drawn now if you check carefully we have a line here a line here tangent to this circle so let's do that so to do that we need to understand our angle very well if i have if i want to draw an angle or if i want to draw a line inclined at an angle in autocad if i start from this point going anti-clockwise this point becomes zero so if i move up here to the top here it's 90 degrees so from the top here coming down here will be 180 Alright, so it goes anti-clockwise in AutoCAD. So for the work to be easy, I have this line here inclined at 20 degrees. So the easiest way I can do, there are so many ways, but the simplest way that I want to show you, just pick the line command. Now, click anywhere here and just drag, just drag the length of it. And then I will press tab. I'll give it an angle of 10 degrees okay so why am I giving an angle of 10 degrees it's assumed that we are moving from this side up okay it's assumed you're moving from this side up so I want the angle from this place to this side to be 10 and then if I mirror I'll get 20 so I just drew from this side to this side 10 degrees all right so let's go to parametric now click tangent and to actually to select first object so i'll select this circle and then select second object i'll pick this line so the line will be tangent to the circle now you can hide this the constraint okay so i'll trim the excess line so i'll use my shortcut tr and click here and i'll trim it okay now i will have to mirror this line so we just pick the mirror command and you select this line okay and you press enter now just select the center of it and click erase source objects click no okay so now if you measure this angle form here you see we have 10 degrees let me show you sorry we have 20 degrees so you can see now so it is assumed we started drawing the angle from this point which is zero and it's moved up so from here zero to this side was 10 and we mirror so when you mirror 
you get your 20 okay let's continue so now the you can see this offsets the gap between is three so let's do that so just click on offset command you can use the offset command so now enter it says specify offset distance the distance is three so you just enter three you press enter now click this line bring it down click this line send it inside okay now we need to trim if you check you need to trim this side okay so i'll use the shortcut tr and then i'll trim here here all the excess lines okay so now i have the internal also done now if you look closely you can see this inner circle diameter of 18 so let's do that circle take the center diameter this is the center line so just enter 18 for the diameter and we have this radius of 12 you can see it's a circle so a radius of 12 so just pick center radius and then you enter 12 okay so at this point you can trim the honest just don't trim this outside lines we are going to use it for another thing so just trim the inside line that is not needed for now so let's do that okay now if you look closely at this end there is a fillet here with radius 2.4 so just pick fillet and then select radius enter the distance of 2.4 now click this one and click here press enter again and click this line okay so now you can see and the same thing applies here here to have a, a radius of 2.4 so you just click all right and then we are done now you can delete this line good now we are done with one side that is this side is done so we are going to use the polar array to rotate or to get multiple so just click on the array and go to polar array now it will ask you to select objects make sure you select all including this one don't select this circle now press enter and then you have to specify center point so my center point is here now you see the numbers are many so i just need three of them so just come here and then enter three and you enter three then close it so you see automatically to give you three good now we have to do some work if you check this end point is having a radius or fillet of 18 radius so you can pick fillet then radius enter 18 press enter now you can select multiple so that you don't have to but before then you can see if you select one object everything is selected which means it's together so you can fill it so before you fill it make sure you explode so you can use the shortcut command x and you press enter or you can just click on this thing so i've already used the shortcut so you select and then you press enter so to just explode and make all of them independent so let's pick the fillet command you check the radius 18 so radius enter 18 you press enter you can select multiple now click this line and click this line okay automatically to give you the fillet the same thing click here click here because you've selected the multiple you don't have to click the fillet command again so click this one and click this one okay now press escape now you can see the work is nice and neatly done so this is what was expected of us now we need to add dimension to the work so let's do that i'll create a layer for that so let me just create a new layer go to layer properties select new give it a name now i'll change the color of my i'd like to give it 
let me use this color okay now the line type 2 I'll change it from default because if I use default it will pick this line thickness which I don't like I'll just go and select 0 0.25 and then I'll select ok ok so now I can close it and then choose the layer make that one active so let's try and then give the dimensions so if you check the dimensions most of them are in radius so pick radius this side you can see it's 18 and pick again this side 6 this internal one 3 and then this diameter is 18 I just want to position it well okay then radius we have this radius 2.4 let me bring it inside here and then here also we have 2.4 yeah let's go for the angle here and here the angle formed is 20 and then now there's a, a circle so before that let me just draw an arc just go to start and you can choose start and radius okay and then from here click here and click here and then the radius you enter is 8 is 48 so enter radius of 48 48 good just for it to give you the center distance all right so i'll change this line to short dashes so if you check the line here it's a continuous line i don't want a continuous line i want short dashes so i can come to the properties go to order and then load the center line here so i'll just load the center line if you check all right so i'll pick this one okay select it okay so select this come here and change it to this one so that you can give it a dimension so for this one you can see the radius is 48 all right this is what it was expected please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and share the video as well if you have any question leave it in the comment section and then i'll answer your questions for you don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial